Antonio Lee, the founder of Why No Face and World Renowned Artist. At this point, you've already gone over the memorandum, you've already view, reviewed the presentation, and you really just want to hear from my mouth. So, as you see, art pretty much is a simple investment. You know, you, you put your money behind it and you're allowed to grow. The challenge behind it at this point would be to produce income from the art. And the aspect that I think would be best for us as a company would be to purchase income producing assets that not only pay, that mainly pay for our operating costs and allow us to pay a special dividend to our investors over time. If you notice in the presentation, I speak on in an introduction that art is a speculative investment in the short term and in the long term it's a secure investment that would appreciate over time. Currently right now, thanks to Uncle Sam, art cannot be depreciated. So therefore the only question that lies is how much does it appreciate that? And that's based off of what has, it has sold for in the past and what we've given it for. So our transfer history is what basically dictates what our appreciation rate is brings us to the 220% annual appreciation rate, which is pretty good considering the fact that right now one of the other highest appreciation rates is that of John Michel, which is I believe at 180% currently. So we're actually projected out higher than that, which leads us to the next aspect of it, what we will invest in. I believe by me already having a background in real estate, I'm comfortable with making the proper decisions for that. I understand you know, the systems of real estate and how to truly allow it to grow and benefit us from a cash flow standpoint, you know, on a monthly basis and on an annual basis. The other aspect would be to purchase paper assets, your stocks that provide us with a dividend income. So now we've solved the, three, the two keys of investing. You invest for capital appreciation, and you also invest for income, be it dividend or, like I said, in, in regards to the real estate, cash flow. So with us having that will give us three ways of producing income. The R will give us the capital appreciation. The real estate will give us the cash flow. And the stocks will give us the dividends, which, like I said, will allow us to cover our insurance, cover our maintenance for the art, cover our travel expenses to add to the art's importance, in addition to being able to provide a special dividend to our investors, which currently no other art fund can do. Currently, art funds, they understand the capital appreciation value, but what happens is while investors invest their money they're solely dependent on selling the art, which causes an issue because you do not know what the market would be at that time. You do not know what it will accept, how much it will be able to accept it for. So you kind of leave yourself in a thin position. On top of that, you start off with negative returns because just like our fund, you will have to pay insurance, pay for maintenance, pay for storage. What we plan on doing is solving those problems so that we won't allow ourselves to be put in a thin position. So when the time comes where we say, okay, you know what, let's sell America Solution, which is one of our most valuable pieces. We can provide a special dividend to our investors in addition to providing for other operating costs. But if they're already taken care of, that just means that the special dividend will be that much higher. Now. From that point, it's a win-win situation. So we've already covered the negative return. Now we can allow the positive to continue to grow. At this point, as we go through the presentation, once again, you see that it's a simple plan. It's unique. Do not get me wrong, it's unique and it's rare. Number one is unique because of the fact that this is the first art fund ever started by an artist. Most of the other art funds currently are either started by ex-CEOs who just do it for pleasure because they're retired, and by art dealers who just figure, okay, well, this is a way for institutional investors to get rid of unwanted stock. Though that may be true, 
there has to be a passion behind it. There has to be something more than just finances. And when you look at the paintings that we've shared through the presentation and just the paintings throughout our entire portfolio, we represent that. We represent a position where it's about family values, it's about social values, it's about cultural values. You know, being able to share the wealth, being able to share your experiences with your family. You know, when you notice the present painting, when you notice Daddy Daughter Day, Mommy Daughter Day, that is what we stand for as a whole and what we will continue to stand for moving forward. So now, by it being more than just money, by it being more than just appreciation, that's what will allow us to outlast other funds.